Okay, we got a call for, a, I think it's a Volkswagen Jetta that's up on the Sheep Bridge Road. It's uh, stuck in the mud, they said. So, too early for Ed this morning. So we're gonna let him sleep in a little bit. We've been busy, busy all through the night. I had my, my some of my drivers out. We got snow in the higher elevations and rain everywhere else, and people have just been sliding off the road all over the place. So that's why we're tired. I think I'm just gonna grab. Yeah. Hey, pup. What's your dog's name? Balto. Balto? Yeah. Oh, you're a good dog. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, when it's dry, I take my dogs with me on these. Yeah. But. He's been staying not too much. Mine would be rolling in the water. Right now. My lab would be. So, if you want to go ahead and get in the car and get it started. Okay. Just put it in reverse, but control your speed. We're not going to be going out of here very fast at all.
people that keep their vehicles clean, this makes them cringe. <laughs> we wait for it to dry out and then the wind to blow the dust away. All right, so that one wasn't too much. This mud is pretty uh, messy and I forgot my trash bag to kneel in, but luckily they had a tent fly that was already in, in the mud, so we found that halfway through. We're heading back home. We got a call for a van up here on the Kolob Terrace Road. They said they're just stuck in some sand. Sounds like it's gonna be pretty simple, but you never know till you know. Morning, afternoon, what, what time is it? <laughs> stuck in the sand right there. It's it might be. It doesn't seem super yeah, stuck. Yeah, I wouldn't think he'd be stuck. Yeah, he's stuck. Uh, front wheel drive and it's stuck. Hey Doc, how you doing? Pretty close to high center here. I'm wondering if yeah, the wonder, best way to... I wonder if we should go backwards. <laughs> Is there a lot of people get stuck out here? Yeah. Give us a rundown, Ed. Yeah. 
I drove it out and it went pretty easy. And uh, it's stuck in a sand front wheel drive a van. So nobody got hurt. <laughs> Ed pretty much gave us a rundown. Anything you want to say? If Ed did it, I think we got it. <laughs> so I took my family out to Glendale yesterday, uh, just before a snowstorm hit, and we got snowed in. We had to stay the night. I slept on a lumpy hide -a bed couch. It was almost big enough for one person, and there was two of us on it. <laughs> anyway. So this morning we decided to have some fun and do some stuff. I got Rudy here. We're hanging out with my best friend Paul Cox. Sorry, Rowdy. And uh, we're gonna go dig a car out of the snow. So since I'm not around my regular footage and my editing software, this is the video you're getting today. The little. What are we looking for? The thing that goes on the back that we can tell a car with. Oh, the sling. <laughs> there it is, it's back over there. <laughs> he already did it this morning. <laughs> right in front of his house, he drove the, the four wheeler right off there. We had to hook up and pull him back out. <laughs> oh, Do you not see. have an ice scraper in there? Oh, somewhere, baby. Perfect. I'm going to get that other one. You're against it. Now we gotta dig the chains out.
a 74 Impala. The old farmer that owned it wouldn't sell it to me, but he likes Crown Vicks. So I ended up buying a Crown Vic, getting it running, and traded it to the farmer for this car. And I really only just wanted the front bumper off of this car. And now I've sold it to my buddy and he's coming to get it today. Oh, that's why it fell squirrely. <laughs> yeah. I wondered it was all over the place. Well, this is easier than I thought it was. I thought you guys would have to pull me up that big hill by the pond, but they plumb it fairly easy. You guys probably had a pretty easy trip when I plowed all the snow for you with the rear bumper. Not me, I was running. That's oh. pretty nice for me. I had the camera out of phase, so when I was running with the phone by my side, I was filming, and then when I put it up, but I caught it quick enough to get you to cross the creek. So do we get to hear you panting? Oh yeah, well, I'm gonna right. put it in there.